Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday morning and we are waiting on our new bed to be delivered. I'm so excited. Uh, we're getting a new mattress and I got all new bedding for it. So the delivery guys are supposed to be here anytime within the next two hours. And they are gonna take our old mattress away and bring in our new mattress for us. And then I'm gonna put all of our new bedding on it. I'm so excited. It's an exciting day. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna go work on some Sim stuff and I hope they arrive earlier rather than later because we really need to go to the store today and get groceries. Oh my God, I am so upset. So the guys just came to drop off the mattress. They, and they said that I didn't pay for the service that you have to pay for to get them to take away our old mattress, even though I did. And I have the receipt that shows that I did. And they were like, well, we can't do anything because it doesn't show on our side that you paid for that and we're not allowed to take the mattress away. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So now I just have a mattress, a, just a extra mattress in my house. The whole reason I bought a mattress from this place is so I could pay the extra to have them take away the old one because we have no way to move a mattress. What the hell? So then I tried to, they're like, you're gonna have to call, call the whoever your salesperson was. And I'm like, I don't have a salesperson. I ordered it online. And they're like, you're gonna have to contact the online customer service. So now I'm sitting here in some live chat with somebody who says she's gonna email the warehouse. I don't know what that means. I'm just like, please send somebody to pick up this mattress. I'm so upset over this. I paid a hundred dollars for them to take the mattress away. Like, and even if they refund me, that's like really not good enough. I don't wanna sound like an asshole here. Like, I know it's not, the delivery driver's fault or the customer service person's fault, but somebody screwed up really bad because we obviously paid for this extra service and we are not getting it. And we're just gonna have like a random mattress in our house with no way to dispose of it. Um, So I'm waiting to see if they're gonna send somebody out to pick it back up. Just look at this shit, y'all. This is our living room now. We got one mattress here. This is our new mattress. And then we have the old mattress over here. Just, just chilling. Just chilling in the living room with nowhere to go. I'm worried that they're just gonna be like, oh, we're sorry, we'll refund you the $99. But then I just have a mattress in my living room, so thanks a lot, mattress firm. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the mattress saga. We're still waiting to hear back from the mattress firm warehouse, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and put the new mattress on our bed. You ready, Andrew? <laughs> He's gonna hide. Okay, come on, let's move this into the bedroom. Oh, you gotta take the plastic off first. Yeah, that's right. It looks nicer than our old mattress, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. It looks thicker. This, we got a Serta Perfect Sleeper Firm Inner Spring Mattress because Andrew and I are both like a firm mattress. Can you get it? Do you need my help? Okay, he said no. <laughs> Uh, you're dragging the plastic with it, too. Yeah, the plastic's on top, under it. Oh, that's okay. We'll get it off. Yeah, so it doesn't matter Getting it past the Christmas tree is the real challenge. Some of our Christmas tree limbs are starting to go completely bold because we just walk by here and hit it every time we walk by. It's only going to last five more days, y'all. Five more days till Christmas. Do you have any bed skirt or not? No, we didn't. I did not get a new bed skirt, so we're gonna have to use our old, ugly brown one um, until I can get another one that matches our new set. Hopefully, it won't be too noticeable. Our room is so tiny, like I can't even film in there. I'm just gonna have to film at the doorway. <laughs> That's why I'm very interesting to see me flailing around trying to do this. It, people love to see you flailing around trying to do this. <laughs> we put it in the wrong way. We went in the wrong direction. It's fine. Andrew will get it. We got it! <laughs> Yay! Uh, oh, it looks nice. It feels really soft and firm. Okay, now we're gonna get our new bedding, which I am so excited about. Because as I said before, we haven't had new bedding in years. First, we have to put the mattress pad on, and then we can put our new sheets and stuff on. So, see you in a minute, because I gotta help with this. Our sheets are all wrinkled because we washed them. The new sheet, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we washed the new sheets like a week ago because the bed was supposed to come last week. We have had nothing but trouble with this. 
And then they've just been sitting in the laundry basket, so they're all wrinkled as hell. Not bad. Here's our new duvet cover. It's so pretty. I don't know how to put a duvet into a duvet cover. So, learning experiences today. This is our first time ever having a duvet, so we are gonna struggle to try to get the duvet in the duvet cover. If you have any tips for that, leave them in the comments down below because we don't really know what we're doing, so prepare to watch us struggle with this. But the duvet cover I got is so gorgeous, y'all. It's a mandala, which I love, and my favorite color of purple. And it's got like some pinks and blues and greens. I bought it on Amazon, so I'll put a link to it down in the description box. Okay, so we just found out about this method called the burrito method to put your du duvet cover on, and we're gonna try it. Okay, I don't know why it stopped recording on its own in the middle of us doing that, but we finally got the duvet. I don't know how much I was able to capture, but we finally got it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Morty likes it. Morty, do you like the new bed? Do you like the new bed, buddy? Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Okay, I'll give you little pets. I'll give you little pets. Wow, I feel so fancy. We have a duvet now, but it's so pretty. Look at that. I love it. So I wasn't even planning on buying a duvet. I just, I bought this duvet cover not realizing it was a duvet cover. I thought it was just a comforter. So when it came, I was like, I love it so much that I'm just gonna buy a duvet insert and keep it. So that's what we did. Here's the center of the mandala. So we also got new pillows and I got a uh, goose down pillows because I really love these. They're kind of like the pillows that they have at uh, hotel rooms. And I really love them every time we go to a hotel. So I wanted to get some for home. And you have to fluff them up because they were really uh, packed in there, I guess you could say. So I got two standard size and I got two queen size. So this, this might not be the queen size ones. Are these? A, I don't know. I don't know. Let's Pop open the others. Box. Yeah, I think these are the bigger ones. So I got four pillows in total, two standard, two queen. And then we got two pillowcases that came with the duvet cover. And they are huge. I think they might be too big. They're supposed to be queen size, but they are giant. And then we got two pillowcases that came with the sheet set as well. Yeah, those are, that's definitely bigger. I love a down pillow. Leave a comment and let me know what kind of pillow you sleep with. I used to sleep with a buckwheat, but I'm feeling the down more these days. Okay, so here's the giant pillowcase. Andrew's gonna try to put one of these in and let's see if it's too big. I think it's gonna be too big. It doesn't look too bad. I think once we get it like up on the edge of the bed, it won't look too bad. Yeah, that's not awful. Okay, so I'm gonna, about to put the last pillowcase on and I wanted to show you guys a little trick. So my first job ever was cleaning hotel rooms in a day's in. I was a hotel maid and I learned how to make, how to put pillowcases on really fast. So I'm gonna show you a trick if you don't know it. What you have to do is stick your arms inside, turn the pillowcase inside out, then stick your arms back inside, put one hand in each corner, grab the pillow by the corners, and kind of shove the case down around it like this with your arms. I hope that was clear. But it's a really fast and easy way to put a pillowcase on perfectly. And uh, my, my pillowcase is all wrinkled, but you get the drift. It's done. Oh my God, I am so happy. Check it out. I freaking love the mandala pattern. It looks kind of like our uh, uh, la, 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 curtains. Morty likes it. Morty likes it. We let our dog sleep on the bed with us. Don't we, Morty? Because you're our little babies. You're our little babies. So now our bedroom is complete. Next, I want to get new curtains because we have like these tan curtains over here and the lamp doesn't really match. 
I need to get some more decor, honestly, for the bedroom. We have this mural, which I think the new bedding really matches it well. I bought this for Andrew for Christmas a couple years ago and we hung it in our bedroom because we have this big empty wall and it's just beautiful. It's a mushroom village. Now we can lay on our mandala bed and look at our mushroom village. Today is just one of those days things just keep going wrong. So I think our thermostat just went out for our heating and cooling system. We thought the batteries were dying in our thermostat, so we changed the batteries, and, but that did nothing. This is what we've got. We've got no display right here where there should be a display. And it works, like the heating and cooling works if we turn it on, but we have no idea what the temperature's set to because the display shows nothing now. This is why I hate home ownership. Because now we have to figure out how to fix this or call somebody to come fix it. And I don't know how much that's going to cost. Probably more than I want to pay for it. I'm just ready to sell this house. Oh my god. I'll keep you updated. Well, Andrew just got off the phone with the heating and cooling company. That Their phone number was on our thermostat. So I think they installed the system. We just called them and told them what was going on. They said they'll be here tomorrow to look at it. And we also just realized it's not blowing heat. So I am going to have a cold night tonight. I really hope it doesn't get too cold. Gosh, I used to have a space heater. I don't think I have it anymore. I guess I could turn the stove on if it gets really cold, um, but I'm just gonna have to bundle up and bear through it and hopefully they can fix it tomorrow and I just hope and pray it doesn't cost a fortune oh, right before Christmas. Cross your fingers for me. It's like 8 30 p.m. right now and it's getting kind of cold in here. It's not too bad. Like I'm all bundled up. I've got a sweater. I've got my warmest leggings on. Me and the dogs are all cuddled up in here. I think we're gonna make it through the night with no heat. It is gonna get down into like the 20s. I think it's gonna be worse in the morning when we wake up because we can all like snuggle in the new bed tonight. I'm really excited to sleep in the new bed, but <sighs> it is gonna be a rough night with no heat, but we're gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna turn the stove on for a bit and just let it kind of like warm up in here. I'm not freezing or anything. I don't even really feel cold at this point, so don't worry. I just got off the phone. I talked for two and a half hours on the phone to my best friend in Arkansas, and sometimes you don't mean for your night to go that way, but you just, that's just how it ends up going. So it was really nice to talk to him. We've just recently like been back in touch after we haven't talked for a couple years because we had some shit happen between us. But anyway, things are good now. We just talked for a long time on the phone and now it's 8.30 and I'm getting tired and I still have a lot of stuff to do. So I thought this might be a good time to share like what my meal planning process is like and how I plan our meals. I kind of show this a little bit in other vlogs, but never really in depth. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, it starts with food. This has been my trusty book that I've been using to cook for myself lately. It has so many good recipes in it. I can't recommend it enough if you're interested in like a paleo type diet. Yes, Bella? I don't know what she wants. She's over there barking at me. Today is Monday, so I need Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's dinner. For Christmas, better get something for that. So I'm gonna say I need four, at least four dinners that will make leftovers. So that's what we're working with. And then I also need to get breakfast stuff. I'm getting tired of my eggs and spinach, so I think I wanna try something new for breakfast. I think I might do omelets. What I have here is just a plain notepad, and this is what I'm gonna write my meal ideas on. But then when I get ready to make my list, I'm gonna do it on my phone. Just because I bring my phone with me to the store, and I use this app, called Out of Milk, and it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. If it looks bad, I'll put it like a screenshot on the screen if you can't see it. Um, it's called Out of Milk. It's a completely free app for Apple and uh, Android. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just an app I use. And I like it because you can have different lists for different stores. So I have a list um, for The Butcher, King Supers, Natural Grocers. <laughs> All of my uh, stores that I go to, I can have a separate list for them. I'm going to make my King Supers list because King Supers is really where I get the bulk of my groceries. And then like, let me just show you how it works. So like, when you're in the store, you can just like click these and check them off. 
when you after you purchase them you can put the prices in you can put if you have a coupon you can put your sales tax rate if you have sales tax where you live it's a really great app for making grocery lists and sometimes I will just come in here like throughout the week as I remember that I'm gonna need something like oh we need paper towels or something I'll just put it on the list so I put my stuff in here as I make my meal plan and I write down the actual meal plan on a piece of paper and I can just stick it on the fridge and remember what I'm going to be cooking this week. Last week I was going to make cashew beef but I didn't end up making it for some reason so I think I'm going to make it this week. Here's the recipe that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to write down cashew beef on my meal plan and then I'm going to put all the ingredients into my phone. So I'm just gonna do the same process for the next three meals and then I'm gonna write down anything that I want for breakfast or snacks. Definitely gonna get some apples and oranges and grapes I think we're out of fruit pretty much. After I put in all the food that I want to get then I move on to like household stuff and toiletries and see if there's anything that I think we're gonna need in the next four days. I'll put that in the app. And today, since I am doing a grocery order for pickup, once I'm done here, I will go to my computer and make the order on my computer. I can do it on my phone, but it's so much easier just to do it on my computer. Okay, now I'm done with my meal plan and making my list on my phone. So I'm sitting at my computer and all I do is go to the website. So both King Supers and Walmart um, do grocery pickup in my area. So I can just go on, make my order, check out, pay for everything online and schedule a time for it to be picked up the next day. So it's like super easy to do. I just search for what I want, add to cart, and that's all pretty much all there is to it. So normally I would not do this step. Normally I would just take my list on my phone to the store and we would go shopping, but obviously Sometimes you don't have time and you have to use the conveniences available to you. So that's what I'm doing today. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinna Dust Seasoning Blend. Really? That's a product? Apparently it is. That is a featured product at my grocery store. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Dust. It's no wonder everybody's fat and sick. Damn. Ooh, a coupon for celery. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm all done with that. My grocery pickup is scheduled for tomorrow. My Walmart order is scheduled for tomorrow sometime between 10 and 11 a.m. So I'm hoping Andrew is able to go pick everything up and get back before the heater repair guy gets here because I don't like dealing with people in my house. Usually when we have like repair people or anybody delivering anything in our house, I lock myself in the bedroom with the dogs and let Andrew deal with it. And I know that probably sounds really bad, but I just don't like strangers in my house and I don't like dealing with it. That's what Andrew does for me because he's a wonderful husband. But uh, I just hope he gets back in time for the heater guy or I don't know what I'll do. But he's supposed to call us before he comes over. So I think it'll be fine. And he said like midday. It's 9.45 p.m. And I'm about to start winding down because it is getting actually a little bit chilly in here. Not terrible, like, but I can feel, I can feel a little nip in the air. So I think it's about time for me to snuggle up in the new bed with a hot drink. Hot drinks really get you going, warms you up when you feel you're slow in. I'm gonna have a cup of spearmint tea using my favorite spearmint tea bags. I don't keep these in the bag anymore. I keep them in a glass container. So right here by my giant thing of cornmeal that I'm never gonna use, um, I have uh, my tea container. This used to have sugar in it, but I dumped out all the sugar because I am not gonna eat sugar anymore. And instead I filled it with delicious spearmint tea bags. I get these for $14.99 for 100 tea bags on Amazon. They're really good. I actually prefer them to the kind that I get at the grocery store. I think last time uh, I showed you, I, I was drinking like the traditional medicinals, but I found that I really like these from Amazon better. I like the taste better. So we're gonna put this down here and get the hot water going, get the hot water flowing. I hope I don't overflow it. It's hard for me to see how much is water is in there. Nope, needs a little bit more. Okay, that's gonna warm us up tonight. So I'm headed to the bedroom. Go through the house. I still got a giant mattress in my living room. Man, they better come pick that up tomorrow. 
I still haven't heard back from the mattress people, but check out the new bed. I'm so excited. I gotta get Andrew's clothes off over there. And we do have a little TV in the bedroom. This little TV, we move back and forth from the office to the bedroom. But tonight I want it in the bedroom because I need to snuggle up and watch TV. Belle is already here. She's already ready to snug. Aren't you Belle Bells? Yes. <laughs> so precious. Look at all these snuggle bunnies I've got on my bed. I see a Gibbons. I see a Morty. One more. <laughs> I see a Bella. The new bed feels so comfortable. Oh my God. It's such an improvement y'all. I'm so happy that we were able to get a new comfortable bed and get rid of that old uncomfortable one. And my pillows feel so good. I'm just gonna lay here and drink my hot drink and watch some true crime shows, okay? I've been watching this show called Fear Thy Neighbor and it's terrifying, okay? It's like, it's one of those really cheesy like reenactment type of true crime shows but it's about like people who have crazy neighbors who go insane and like kill them. And it really makes you afraid to move anywhere. Cause now I'm all paranoid that anywhere I go, my neighbors are gonna be psychopaths. Uh, where we live now, we have been so lucky. Our neighbors are fantastic where we are now. That's one thing I really do like about this house. But every time you move, there's a chance you're gonna have crazy ass neighbors. And we have had crazy ass neighbors before. It is not fun. <laughs> I will leave you on that note. I'm gonna snuggle up here and have a good rest of my night. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this vlog. I will keep you updated on the heater situation and the mattress situation because I know you're invested. I know you want to know the answer. I'm leaving you on a cliffhanger here. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye everyone!